Though some people attest that Tarkov's post-effects settings are some sort of demon sent from the darkest pits of hell and can completely obliterate your performance, even though this is true in some select cases, you can still find other apps that'll help improve your color vibrancy and overall saturation in Tarkov, and if that's something you're looking for, then you've come to the right video. So let's cut the rest of the bullshit and just get straight into what we're going to be doing today. The first thing I'm going to do is go into my NVIDIA control panel. I've probably shown this off before, but to do that, you just go here and type in NVIDIA. You'll probably see control panel right there. Obviously, this is only for NVIDIA users. AMD stuff will be later in the video, so you can wait for that. Once this opens up, oh, I'm already at the setting. <laughs> Ironically, you want to click on adjust desktop color settings. Now, once you're in here, you'll see the two uh, or however many monitors you have uh, put up on here. Obviously, you're going to want to pick the monitor that you're playing games on to set these settings to. And the one thing that I changed the most here is the digital vibrance. Set this to whatever you like. I've also adjusted my brightness and contrast on a different monitor that I have. Uh, I believe it's on this one. I've adjusted it a little bit. You can play around with those settings too and see what works best for you in the game. The one thing I wouldn't recommend messing with is hue because you're gonna start turning your shit into a rainbow. The second thing you wanna go to is adjust video color settings. And in this section, we wanna hit with the NVIDIA settings. You wanna make sure that's checked so you can change these settings here and then just go to advanced. And once you're in advanced, Make sure that dynamic range is set to full. Normally it'll be set to limited by default, but once you set it to full, it'll make sure it uses the whole 0 to 255 color gamut. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but you know what I mean? Instead of the limited colors so that blacks look deeper on your monitor. Once you've done that, make sure you hit apply. And once you have the settings that you enjoy the most, you're done with the NVIDIA control panel. So now that we're done with the NVIDIA control panel section, we can move on to the color management section. Do this, you just need to hit the Windows key on your keyboard and type color, and then color management should pop up. Hit enter, and then you'll be brought to this window here. It's very important here that you select the device that you're gonna be applying these changes to. So for me, I've got my display one, which is my main monitor on the correct graphics card, the RTX 3070 Ti. And once I have it set to that, I can simply go to advanced, and then here's where the fun begins. In display calibration, you just wanna hit calibrate display. And this window will come up once you're in this simply hit next and it'll calibrate you through different settings like gamma saturation how deep blacks and whites are things like that and i'll just walk you guys through each section so you guys know what's going on so once you hit next you'll be brought to the first section which is about gamma a lot of people like to crank up their gamma uh, in very dark situations in Tarkov in order to see better. So following this calibration in here is not necessarily required. However, I do like to hover around the good gamma range. However, if you want to see a lot within Tarkov, it may be better to raise your gamma a little bit higher than normal and have it so that it's more similar to this image on the right. Let me go to next. You'll see that right now I'm in the slightly higher range here. You can see the dot a little bit on my screen. I don't know. It will vary screen to screen, and it probably looks very different to you. But let's say I want it brighter. I'm going to pump up the gamma on my display and then hit next. Next is brightness and contrast. I'll give you some stock images to look at. And with this, you have to go to your own monitor and change the settings from there. Most monitors will have some sort of control, whether it be on the back of the monitor or on the bottom with buttons so that you can adjust your brightness and contrast so that this looks just about right for you. And this is something that highlights contrast, so you'll be able to get a good example of what contrast is good for you. I mean, this is obviously too bright because I just pumped up the gamma by 15 pounds, but we're just going to go to next. And now this is for color balance. This is to make sure that the grays and the blacks and the whites on your screen aren't tinted to any certain color, whether it be red, green, blue, or anywhere in between. So when I hit next, I can change any of these on my, any of these three bars here. And that'll lessen the amount of any given color that's on my display. Let's say it's a bit too green for me, so I'm going to lower the amount of green by a little bit. Even though obviously it's not, I'm just doing it for demonstration here. And once you're done, hit next. Now here you can actually check your previous calibration with the current one that you have right now just by clicking. And obviously I want the previous calibration, so I'm going to hit cancel. But if you like how it looks from there, just hit finish and you're done. You can go up here to launch clear type tuner, which will allow you to adjust text to make sure it looks the best on your screen. But that's only if you think text looks blurry on your monitor. If you don't want to do this, uncheck it and then hit finish. Now for the final part of this, I'm going to be talking about Vibrance GUI. If you haven't heard of it, it just 
is an external application where you can select any given application on your computer and up the digital vibrance level even further than before. Download it, all you have to do is go to the Vibrance GUI website that I have pulled up here, and then simply hit download for desktop PC. Once you download it, you'll see Vibrance GUI.zip has been put into your downloads folder. All you need to do is unzip it and launch the application which I'll do now. And once you launch the application, you'll see something like this. To actually change the vibrance level in Tarkov, you need to add Escape from Tarkov's EXE into the program settings. Now there's two ways you can do this. The easier of the two is to simply launch Tarkov and then hit add, and then you'll see Escape from Tarkov right here. If you don't see it here, and if you don't have it launched, you can also go to add manually and find it in your file path, and then select Escape from Tarkov. Either way, once you have Tarkov here, double click on it. Then all you have to do is slide this slider to wherever you think it fits best and then hit save. I'm going to just slide it all the way to the right for demonstration and then once you tab back into Tarkov it'll look like you deep fried it. Now it doesn't actually show up in the recording because it doesn't actually capture the third party filter on top of the game. Trust me, I've tried, you can't get this to capture in any recording, any screenshot or anything like that, unless I'm really, really stupid. But otherwise, adjust it to your liking, and then you've got yourself a pretty good looking game. I personally still recommend to use the post effects settings found in the settings. These are my post effects, if you guys want to look at mine. And even though these aren't the best and friendly for performance, they get the job done and they make the game look fucking great, so I keep them. If you guys are on lower end hardware, then I'd suggest st steering clear of uh, Clarity and both Luma and Adaptive Sharpen, as those can hinder performance, especially the higher you crank them. So do be wary of that if you are, again, on those lower end pieces of hardware. The last thing I wanted to note is if you guys are wondering why I didn't talk about Razer Cortex, it's because it didn't actually find my Escape from Tarkov EXE. I couldn't get it to capture it. And besides, that software is a huge piece of bloatware trash, and I would never recommend anybody to install it. I did, and I would not recommend it, because it tries to sell you on 13 other things before you even get the damn thing downloaded. But that's all for now, so I hope this video helped you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Clem, blocking out. Later.